In this video, you will learn how to solve a linear system using substitution method. Before I start, let's make sure you know what does it mean to solve a linear system. Let's take a look at this linear system, x plus y equals 3 and 2x minus y equals 6. This is a linear system and as you can see, it has two linear equations. So equation 1, let's say this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So when we try to solve this linear system, what are we doing basically is to find the point of intersection between these two lines. So let's say if this is my first line, line one, and this is my second line, by solving this linear system, we are trying to find the coordinate of the point of intersection between these two lines, this point, point of intersection. So when we solve this linear system, we, we are finding the coordinate of this point. So that's the meaning of solving a linear system. So to solve a linear system, there are three different methods. One is graphing, and there is substitution method and elimination method. In this video, I'm going to talk about substitution method. So let's get started. Solving linear system by substitution. So there are four steps for substitution method. So the first thing we need to do is to isolate a variable and then substitute that expression to the second equation and then solve for the variable. And then the last step is to substitute the value to the one of the original equation and solve. I'm gonna explain these steps while I'm doing the examples. So let's start with the first example. Here is the first one. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection of x plus y equals three and two x minus y equals six. So I have the equation of two lines and I'm trying to find the point of intersection between those two lines. So we have to make a linear system. So x plus y equals three and two x minus y equals six. Now we have to solve this linear system and we wanna use the substitution method. So we are following these four steps. So the first step is to isolate a variable. Let's say this is my equation one, this is equation two. So I wanna choose, I wanna isolate one variable. It doesn't matter which equation you choose, it's up to you. But always go with the easier one. So this is one, this one is easier. So I wanna go with this one. I wanna isolate one of these variables, x or y. So I wanna isolate x. So I have to uh, leave the x on the left side equals, on the right side I have three and I move this positive y to the right side, so it becomes negative y. So this expression equals x, x equals three minus y. That's the step one, we isolated x. And step number two says, we have to substitute this expression for x into the second equation. So in the second equation, I wanna substitute this for x. So two times x, which is three minus y, and I have minus y equals six on the right side. And now we have to distribute this two into the bracket. So two times three is six, two times negative y, that's negative two y. And I have another negative y on the left side equals six on the right side. And now we have to collect like terms. So move all the constant term to one side and all the variable terms to the other side. So negative two y and negative y, that's, add up to negative three y on the left side equals six on the right side. And I have to move this positive six from left to right. So it becomes negative six. So on the left side, I have negative three y. On the right side, I have six minus six, which is zero. So I have to divide both sides by negative three. Therefore, on the left side, I have y and on the right side I have 0 over negative 3 which is just 0. So this is our value for y. Now next step is to substitute this value into one of the original equations. I can substitute this into equation 1 or equation 2, it doesn't matter. I want to go with equation 1. So from equation 1 I have x plus y equals 3. 
So x plus, and instead of y, I want to substitute the zero equals three. So this says on the left side, I have x equals right side, which is three. So this is x. I have the x coordinate, I have the y coordinate. So this is the point of intersection. So the point of intersection is three and zero. So three is the x coordinate and zero is the y coordinate. But that's how we solve linear system and find a point of intersection. Let's do another example. Let's say I have this linear system. We have to solve it. So the first thing we need to do is to isolate a variable from one of the equations. So again, I want to choose equation one. I want to isolate for y. I want to move y to the right side and move this constant term to the left side. So I have 3x minus 4 on left side equals move this y, negative y to the right, it becomes positive y. This is my expression for y. So y equals 3x minus 4. Or you can write it in this form if you like. y equals 3x minus 4. Same thing. Now we have to substitute this expression into the second equation for y. Let's do that. So 4x plus 2y. So instead of y, I have to substitute 3x minus 4. And on the right side, we have a 7. Okay, 4x plus, so we have to distribute this 2 into the bracket. So 2 times 3x, that's positive 6x. 2 times negative 4, that's minus 8. On the right side, I have 7. And now we have to combine like terms. So 4x plus 6x, that's 10x, equals 7 and I move this negative 8 to the, to the right side, so it becomes positive 8. So 10x equals 15. Divide both sides by 10. 10 cancels 10. So on the left side, I have x. On the right side, I have 3 over 2. So x equals 3 over 2. Now I have the value for x. I can substitute this value into one of the original equations. You can choose the first one or second one, doesn't matter. So let's go with the first one. I have 3x minus y equals 4. So I have to substitute 3 over 2 for x. So 3 times 3 over 2 minus y equals 4. 3 times 3 over 2, that's just 9 over 2 minus y equals 4. I need to move y to the right side. So I have 9 over 2. Move this 4 to the left side because negative 4 equals y. 9 over 2 minus 4. You have to find a common denominator. So this is just 4 over 1. So if I want to find a common denominator, I have to multiply numerator and denominator by 2, as you know. So I have 9 over 2 minus 8 over 2 equals y. Therefore, 1 over 2 equals y. So this is the value for y, 1 over 2. So the point of intersection is the x-coordinate, which is 3 over 2, and the y-coordinate is 1 over 2. This is our point of intersection. That's how we solve linear system using substitution method. In the next video, I will explain uh, elimination method. So thank you for watching.